You are watching ABN. Welcome to Jesus or Muhammad. We've got a special show tonight. We have our brother C.L. Edwards, uh, who started off uh, as a Christian, became a Muslim, and eventually left Islam and has given his life to Jesus Christ. And so lots of people have the same experiences in life where they start having doubts about Christianity. Uh, and we know that lots of Muslims watch this program, and there may be Muslims who uh, start having doubts about Islam and want to know what the truth is. And so our goal on this program uh, would be to help everyone in any way we can by uh, helping you through doubts about Christianity and uh, also bringing you uh, to the truth of the gospel and exposing uh, any teachings that conflict with the true gospel. Amen. So we are going to uh, start off with uh, our brother, C.L. Edwards. Uh, you're you're, you, you don't look like uh, someone who comes from an Arab background, so you grew up here know. in the United States, right? Yes, I am uh, one of the many uh, African-American converts that you hear about in the news, you know, and they get um, talked about by many Muslim preachers and duat, you know, Muslim preachers, you know, who like to brag about, you know, the hordes and the, and the numbers of African-Americans and different people, native-born Americans, who accept Islam and see the truth of Islam. I saw Islam as being true at one point, but I, I no longer see it as being true at this point in my life. So you didn't start off as a Muslim. Um, you obviously became a Muslim at some point. What was, your, what was your early life like? Well, my early life, I grew up in the metro Detroit area. I come from a um, strict uh, Christian background, Baptist background. I grew up in the church. You know, I came from a family. We went to church every Sunday, you know, faithfully like clockwork, uh, Sunday school. The Bible was very important in my household. Actually, I mean, you can pretty much say I learned how to read from the Bible. You know, I had a grandmother who was very, a very religious woman. You know, she would have me read the Bible with her at the table every single night. Um, she was the type of woman, you know, you couldn't watch secular television. You know, you had to w watch, you know, people that love, you know, if you remember that from back in the days. But, um, yeah, that's the kind of household I grew up in, a very religious household. So, uh, you know, th well, certain aspects of my family were very religious. We all have problems in our families. Now, now th this, is, this is interesting because, you know, lots of our viewers, that's exactly how they're raising their kids. Uh, we raise them. Uh, we raise them to believe in the Bible. We raise them as Christians. And obviously, something happened. Something happened along the way that made you start doubting yes, yes. Uh, Christianity. And so I wonder if you, can, if you could describe that for us. I can remem remember the exact moment in my life. I was nine years old. Um, you know, I spent all these years in church reading the Bible, knowing that Jesus is the Son of God. He's the Savior. He died for our sins. And I got into a conversation with my dear grandmother, and she remarked that Jesus was God. And it confused me a lot because I, said, I looked at my grandmother and I said to her, well, grandmother, you know, if Jesus is the son of God, how can he be God also at the same time? And that really threw her off. You know, she wasn't prepared for that type of question. And she really didn't have an answer. She just looked at me and said, well, this is what you have to believe. And... Me being a very curious, somewhat rebellious child, 
that just was not a good enough answer for me. I needed to know the answer, and unfortunately, the adults in my background couldn't give me the answer. And uh, th that, that's, that's a very <laughs> good point, ladies and gentlemen. We know that uh, as Christians, we believe many things, but we, all, we, we don't always know how to defend what it is that we believe. And so uh, that's one of the main purposes of programs like this is to have someone uh, like our friend Sam Shamoon uh, who, can, who, can, who can give us answers to these questions so that when, uh, when your child does ask a difficult question, um, we, can, we can help you, uh, we can help you uh, answer those questions. So uh, you said you were nine years old when this happened? I was nine years old, yes. You didn't convert at nine years old, did you? No, no, I did not convert okay, at nine Okay, so what years happened old. from then? How old were you when you converted? Well, I was like 22, 23. 22, 23. So, so uh, describe those intervening years and uh, any other difficulties you might have found. What, what ultimately led to leaving Christianity? Well, um, as I got older, you know, like I said, that question was never really resolved in my heart. I also saw within my family and in my community, you know, Christianity was very important in my community, but there was a lot of problems, problems with alcoholism, broken homes, all types of problems are going in everyone's community. And I saw what I perceive to be, you know, hypocrisy in the adults. Uh, you know, you guys talk about Christianity, you talk about the Bible, but you don't live it. So, uh, you know, that put a lot of weakness in my heart, you know, and I became a very somewhat rebellious teenager. Um, and as I got older and I started really searching for the answers for life, the answers for why do I exist, you know, What's the purpose of life? Where am I going in life? You know, I started really looking outside of, you know, Christianity. So you start having these questions that lots of us have to deal with. I know I had to deal with those uh, at one point. So I, was, I, I grew up as an atheist. Those of you who uh, are, are just tuning in don't, don't know my background. I grew up as, as an atheist, eventually started wrestling with some of the same issues, and so do uh, so. Pretty much everyone. If you don't, if you don't eventually, at some point in your life, start dealing with these kinds of things, uh, probably something weird uh, going on. So the question is, where do you go? Where do you go for the answers? Now, um, you've already you'd already been asking questions about Christianity, hadn't gotten good answers. So why are you going to go to Christianity for the answers when I've been good asking point. some basic questions about Christianity? Why do you believe Jesus is God? How can Jesus be God? Hadn't gotten a good answer, why are you going to go to Christianity for the, uh, for, for the, for the big answers? Exactly. Uh, that's a good point. That's a very good point, you know. Um, I didn't, you know, I didn't just abandon the Bible. I didn't just abandon Christianity. You know, I was still looking for Christian, uh, answers in Christianity, but, you know, I was very open-minded, open to, well, what, what all these other religions? What do these other guys have to say about God and the origins of the universe and why are we here and where are we going? So, you know, I got into a lot of that stuff. So you grew up in, uh, you grew up in the Detroit area. Yes. Large Muslim population oh, yeah. here oh, yeah. in this area. Did that have something to do with it? Were you searching on your own? Oh, yeah. did, you, did you meet yeah. some Muslims? That was an influence also. You know, if you live in Detroit, even if you don't know or you don't know what Islam is, you see Muslims. You see um, mosques, masjids. You know, I went to a, you know, a school where there were Muslims in my school, you know, so there was a little attraction there, especially with the background of Malcolm X. You know, that was presented to me when I was a teenager. Actually, when I was in high school, our teacher made us read the autobiography of Malcolm X, and I was very intrigued by it. Yes. So, you know, I, I got into the book. I started reading it. And, you know, I want to be honest with you. I wasn't a good, I was a good student, but I, I didn't behave. I didn't behave mm -hmm. myself. But, you know, the teacher was very shocked that, I, you know, I read the whole book in two days. And I read it before all the, all the other students read it. And, they, and his life story, his biography, it really captured me. And I saw this person, you know, Malcolm X, if you know anything about his story, he was a street hood. He was, you know, had a very bad background. He was, uh, you know, addicted to drugs. He went to prison. And Islam changed his life, mm -hmm. you know. So I started to think, well, if Islam could change this guy's life, Maybe it can do something for me, you know, or maybe it can do, for the, do something for all the people that I know that seem to be, have messed up, uh, misdirected lives. So you were, this was still in high school? This, this is in high school. Okay, so a few more years down the road that you converted, what happened um, up to your conversion? Well, like I said, I, I experimented in, with a whole bunch of different stuff, new age stuff and all, I mean, I got into a whole lot of stuff. 